In this video, we're going to look at resolving issues with Safari by using the Reset Safari option in the menu bar. Let's go ahead and open Safari. We go up to the menu bar, click on Safari, and then click on the Reset Safari option. You'll be presented with a dialog box. There will be some clickable options in the dialog box regarding what you would like to reset. When you navigate to web pages, Safari will download some information, like cookies or caches. Generally speaking, cookies and caches are good things. Cookies store passwords, so anytime that you click Remember Me on a website or have it auto log you in, that information is stored in a cookie. Also, it'll download a cache of a web page. That way the next time you navigate to the page it loads faster. However, this data can start to get stockpiled. This can cause the browser to become slow, not load web pages from a particular website, or not load any web pages at all. We can fix this by simply resetting. You can pick whatever you'd like in the list However, the most important thing, as far as what typically causes issues, is the Remove All Website Data option. Typically, I just select all boxes and hit Reset. Upon doing this, you can then test some web pages to make sure that everything is loading OK. This is one of the quickest troubleshooting steps you can take, and 95% of the time, it fixes all issues with the Safari web browser. This is just a quick step that you can take to fix any issues you're having in Safari.